everyone, Maurice, and welcome to Tanks and Invest. We talk about investing, finance, fresh development. For today's video, it attempts only. The best way to talk about today would be through ticket ETH. I know I posted a video about six hours ago, but I want to just quickly cop back on a camera today, knowing the fact my schedule is relatively free today. I'm not do really doing much. So I want to record before the market close on the equity portions of the market. So I'm recording us up 3.33 p.m. on the Eastern time right now. It seems like so far, with respect to the positive job report that we had today, I would say more of a neutralized, but leaning more of a positive spectrum job report today. It kind of pushed up the, the overall overall market indexes to go up with respect to SPY currently up about 0.7% and respect to NASDAQ up about 0.77% as well. We had a little bit sell-off earlier today but subsequently rebound so kind of in the neutralized zone at the moment not really doing much right. With respect to Ethereum uh, and Bitcoin, Bitcoin is currently down about 0.06% kind of neutralized at the same time. Kind of net net cancels each other out because of the weekend affectation and the anti-correlation effects that we see in the equity market. Ethereum is currently up about 2.6% a little bit more volatile but more leaning towards the positive spectrum of the propensity because of the minimal sell-off is subsequently kind of hovering around like the $2,097 mark lean more of a positive spectrum because of the minimal sell-off that we had with respect to some of the growth stocks that we're seeing right? so we'll go through a technical analysis again to see how are we shaking out with respect to this new market dynamics right now and with respect to the weekend affectation ahead of us because we do have a longer weekend this time right and with respect to US market in addition to Sunday Monday is also a, an observed holiday at the same time so technically the weekend affectation might do raids for three days instead of just two days uh in a predetermination before so stay tuned Instagram let's make some money On to the technical analysis for Ethereum ticket ETH. I'm recording us up 3.42 p.m. Basically like 15 minutes away from the market closing on the equity side of the portion. Uh, with respect to SPY right now, let's take a look at equity market real quick. We are up about 0.77% and with respect to NASDAQ up about 0.77% respectively as well. So let's take a look at the SPY real quick. You can see that with this gap ever since the release of the job report. Again, we're more of a neutral report, but leaning more of the positive spectrum because of the top key metrics, right? The 820,000 jobs infusion into the market, right? We subsequently jumped up the market real there. And then you can see that we had a little bit more of a buying pressure across the board today, right? So kind of half of it in a way. That's why we're up about 1% so far. And with respect to NASDAQ, comparable in terms of the you know, dynamics, you could see that we had a little bit of a sell-off earlier today, you know, down a little bit, but and then we subsequently rebound. But overall, we, we still net-net positive. So I would say SPY and NASDAQ are both positive. Uh, so in terms of the spectrum, what you know, leaning more to a neutral side because we're not up a lot. We're only up about like 0.75% across the board, right? And with respect to this direct correlation, we subsequently drive some selling pressure onto Bitcoin, but not really, right? Because again, we're kind of neutral. So net net we're neutral, right? But obviously Ethereum is a little bit more volatile. So and also at the same time, we were kind of hovering around like the two thousand fifty dollars level, right? And again, right, we do not ever just hover around like a level between the two resistance levels. We have to either go up or go down. And with respect to the you know some of the selling pressure that we'd have with SPY and Nasdaq earlier today, you could see that I subsequently kind of drive up the uh, resistance which anti-correlates in the supply and demand dynamics subsequently push up Ethereum to be a little bit higher but again not that much higher we're not up like 20% we're up only like 2.5% so far right so let's look a look at the newer time frame on how we're going to be shaking out in the near future right so I think right now with respect to the propensity that we should be experiencing going forward uh, we are, you know, still in the bullish trend on macro level. We are still kind of reversing right now on the RSI perspective. However, tomorrow is a Saturday and the subsequent day is going to be a Sunday. As we know, July 4th lies on a Sunday. But because of the fact that uh, coincidentally, July 4th lies on a Sunday, the U.S. government has decided to also allocate Monday as a holiday at the same time. Just to make up for, you know, because of the coincidental uh, timing for both July 4th and Sunday, right? So Monday is another holiday another day off for people that uh, the vacation is not over until basically Monday night. So we might see a, a three consecutive weekend affectation. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see some sort of like a selling pressure this time on Sunday, right? Uh, but I think the likelihood would be unlikely again because of the fact, again, U.S. holidays only. We're not talking about in a global holiday. We're not talking about like the Christmas time frame. We're not talking about 
um, New Year's time frame. Can we not talk about New Year's Eve time frame either? This is something that we have to be cautious of. We do not have uh, a full visibility on the transparencies into how U.S. investors gonna think about their weekend affectations or what is their mentality around. Oh, when should I be liquidating to secure my assets? You know, when does the safe haven effect fully bake in, right? And I think a logical perspective using historical trends would be, you know, Friday and Saturday, right? So today we've seen a more of a neutral day because of the anti-correlation effects coming from the equity market, coming from the job report. So in terms of like crypto market and equity market, we're kind of neutral because we don't really have any drag effect, even though Friday weekend affectations also baked into the equation. That tomorrow, technically, if you talk about like historical five, Saturday so far has always been the red Saturday. The likelihood of us getting there or, you know, going down to the next lower resistance level would be ideal. So when I see the, the level of Ethereum going, would be $2,050 would be the next level. I think the likelihood of us breaking above the $2,150 level, which is the next level that I identify here in the yellow line right here, would be unlikely. I think we will be actually testing back down to the $2,000 uh, or $2,050 uh, because we have a little bit more propensity to normalize a little bit more, right? Again, the RSI is a little bit hot right now despite the macro trends that we are going to be seeing of a leap going forward because of the, um, you know, the summits that we'll be experiencing basically uh, 1.2 weeks out from here, right? So obviously with that cows, we will propel, but I think because of the weekend affectation and this long weekend, people want to just like get away a little bit, that I wouldn't be surprised if Sunday we had a little bit slight selling pressure, but not a lot, right? Not like a huge drag effect, right? But ultimately it depends on the media affectation, right? Because consecutively, Sunday has always been either very positive news or really negative news that drives the market, you know, relatively volatility uh, into the play, right? So something to be mindful of, uh, $2,050 would be a good level to DCA again, right? Do we see 1950? We might if we get a black swan news again, right, on Sunday, uh, which we have seen that, you know, basically the last four consecutive Sundays so far. Uh, and then Monday rebound ahead of like basically coming back because like Monday I think people are slowly you know digesting the weekend and I think they are kind of having that Monday affectation again like oh I kind of have to fly back home uh, I'm looking into checking my emails again I'm working maybe I'm just speaking because I'm a workaholic uh, maybe that's just my mentality or maybe people drag on until they want to sleep in even more because they want to squeeze the most out of the holiday you know, knowing the fact that Monday is a weekend as well, technically, if you think about it that way. It's a 48-hour uh, weekend Sunday, if you may, right? So, something to be mindful of, right? We are not psychologists, and we, we do not predict the future either, so I'm not a clairvoyant either, but we can only risk mitigate. We are in the business of risk mitigation, and the risk profile would be $2,050, if we go down to 1950, great level to DCA again, right? Do we see 1850? No, I don't believe we will actually get there. We might get there after the summit, like I said before, right? Buy the rumor, sell the news type of application going forward. Recap all the numbers in the technical analysis again. I think the $2,050, we should be seeing that sometime soon on Saturday um, or sometimes even Sunday, maybe because of the weekend affectations kind of dragged out until Monday this time, right? So, so just a reminder that we do not predict the timing, but we can mitigate by understanding the risk profile by dollar cost averaging accordingly based on analytics, right? So $2,050 is a great level to buy in. Attractive level, $1,950, I would totally buy up. I actually allocate some cash. Uh, from the equity portion to you know supplement on this level you know that I per foresee that we might be getting there going forward right 1850 I think that will be a black swan event um, if we get there I will congratulate you and we have been eyeing this number for a while that if we get there congratulations I will be buying and I would probably buy like five years Ethereum from there just know the fact that again right 1750 which we kind of all missed the bus I bought 10 Ethereum around that level I wish I bought more, but again, right, we are in the business of risk mitigation. We do not chase the pump, you know, and feeling some sort of like regrets, like, oh man, I missed out, is a good feeling. It means you're doing it right, right? So if you always feel that way, that means you're actually doing something real and you're making a good profit for yourself, right? But never be greedy, always think logically, right? You can never make enough money in the world, right? 
respect to corporate adoption, 20%, uh, 9,800, 4.8 times your money from here. Right, so this is for the day of respect my technical analysis on the Ethereum ticket ETH. Hopefully you guys find this helpful. I know it's my second video again, but I hope you guys have more clarity and transparency into executing the price level going forward. And also have a great rest of your Friday. And I look forward to the weekend, so as you are, I hope. Um, and please stay tuned for the next video coming up. Take care. Bye.